The Word of God says in 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 10, Wherefore, the rather, brethren, give diligence to make your calling and election sure, for if ye do these things, ye shall never fall. First and foremost, as always, it is imperative that we identify the audience being addressed. Verse 1 says, Simon Peter, a servant and an apostle of Jesus Christ, to them, notice this, that have obtained like precious faith with us through the righteousness of who? God and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Notice, these are saved individuals who have past tense, obtained like precious faith through the righteousness of God. In verses 5 through 7, they are encouraged to add to their faith seven spiritual attributes. Look at verse 5. And beside this, giving all diligence, add to your faith virtue, and to virtue knowledge, and to knowledge temperance, and to temperance patience and to patience, godliness, and to godliness, brotherly kindness, and to brotherly kindness, charity. The believer is then assured that if they add these attributes to their faith, they will neither be barren nor unfruitful. Of course, the opposite being true of the believer who does not add to their faith. Notice the contrast drawn between both. Verse 8. For if these things be in you and abound, they make you that ye shall neither be barren nor unfruitful in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. But he that lacketh these things is blind and cannot see afar off and hath forgotten that he was purged from his old sins." Verse 10 is commonly cited to assert that a believer must prove their salvation by persevering in the aforementioned positive traits. However, the context is clearly concerning the believer's spiritual growth, whereby they become steadfast, sure, and established. Watch this. The believer is called and elected to reflect the glory and virtue of God in this life. Look back at verse 3 of the very same chapter. According as his divine power hath given unto us all things that pertain unto life and godliness, through the knowledge of him that hath called us to glory and virtue. Verse 11 says, For so an entrance shall be ministered unto you abundantly, into the everlasting kingdom of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Notice, the believer who adds to their faith will have an abundant entrance ministered unto them. While entrance into the kingdom is, of course, conditioned upon faith alone and Christ alone, an abundant entrance is promised to those who add to their faith. This passage is pertaining to spiritual maturation and eternal reward, not proving our salvation by persevering in good works. As always, when we take context into consideration and rightly divide the word of truth, we preserve the purity of the gospel. If you are not 100% certain that you're going to heaven when you die, I encourage you, my friend, to watch the video in the description below. The Bible Way to Heaven, and be saved today. God bless.